My name's Paul Eiton, I'm the Salford Red Devils team and welfare manager, uh, ex-Halifax, Salford, Oldham and a quick brief spell at Featherston. Uh, my top five toughest opponents, I think I put number five, I would probably say Paul Schoolthorpe. He's uh, we just, a, just a fierce competitor and such an athlete as well. And just, uh, you know, you knew every game he went into, he was, uh, it was 100%. Um, I've never really got into a tussle with, not as a, not as a, as a pro. We, we got in a few scrapes when we was, uh, when we was amateurs. Um, referee threatened, threatened us, first one to throw, first punch. Uh, he's off. He was playing for Mayfield at the time and he'd left Waterhead to go to Mayfield. I think he was pot hunting. He'd, uh, he'd gone to the team that won the league that year. But yeah, we always used to have a, a crack about that. Um, team number four, I'd probably say Jamie Peacock. Um, the guy, again, very much in the same mould as, uh, as Scully, just an ultimate competitor. Um, but the guy was just so raw boned. You know, he looked, uh, he was just so unassuming, the way he carried the ball, he was all elbows and knees and, you know, he's one of them type of players that when he took it in, you're thinking, you know, you're not going to pull out, you're going 100%, but this is going to work, you know what I mean? And uh, the guy never took a backward step and I think that was quite evident, you know, when he played for Great Britain and he uh, knocked 10 bells out of, uh, of Mason. Uh, number three, um, I'm probably going to say Moz. Again, very much just uh, an animal of a bloke. The way he carried the ball, he just seemed to have no uh, no respect for his body, and he certainly didn't didn't have any respect for yours when he was running into you. And again, there are that big padded arm and all elbows, and you know when those knees got coming up, you knew you was in for it, and uh, you could tell there was nothing behind them eyes. You know there was just uh, he, he just had nothing but you know disrespect for you as a as a player at the time when he was carrying that ball and he just wanted to hurt you and uh, you know I think that's uh, admir an admirable thing you know if you play with any sort of respect you're going to get hurt and he certainly didn't play uh, didn't play soft he's just uh, he's a legend of our sport isn't he on both sides of the both sides of the world and you know he's uh, he's richly deserved as well the guy's done everything and you know he's been the ultimate pro uh, two I'd probably I'm going over the other side of the world now someone like uh, um, Shane Webke, you know, the guy was just a wrecking ball. He was, uh, for such a big man as well, he was a, he was such a fit fella. And, uh, you know, he was, again, he was one of them, a bit like Moz were, you know, he, as he took the ball in, he just eyeballed you and it was a case of, I'm going to run over you, do, do your best. He turned you into a speed bump half of the time. You didn't stop him, you just slowed him down. Or maybe that was just me and my crap tattling technique. Um, and number one, I'd probably say Gordon Tallis. Uh, the guy was just a, a, a brute. He was a beast. He was uh, an athlete. He was. He embodied everything that was, uh, you know, your ultimate forward. Um, I think his own teammates were feared of him as well at times. And you know, this guy came with a reputation. And when you played against him, you understood why he had that reputation. You know, he was. Uh, he was into everything. He was. Uh, you know, he was. He, he, he was bagging you while you was playing, he was smashing you. Um, I played in the semi-final of the World Cup for Wales against him and he broke my jaw that game. I've actually got a picture on Twitter um, where he's raised the elbow, he's caught me in the in the jaw and I got an airline fracture of the jaw halfway through the game and uh, I think that was just his, his welcome and his calling card. So uh, not only did he injure me, uh, he stood up to his reputation as well.